Hello, I pray everybody's having a blessed day today. I had to get out of the house to do this video because there was so much noise going on again. I had to come um, somewhere else to do this video, but that's okay. Praise the Lord. Um, I wanted to share um, a dream that I had last night. Um, it's actually really no, relevant and it's actually um, a showing of God's blessings and the things that, that He's going to reward us for, you know, since we've been going through these trials and tribulations i know a lot of people have been going through lately with different things in their lives that they've been facing and different you know situations and circumstances they've been in it looked kind of doomy and gloomy but um this is just a, a confirmation and god showing that showing us that um the blessings that are coming and they're not just coming you know slowly though they're not going to be like a, it's not going to be like a trinkle like it has been in pa times past this is going to be like a like they're going to come quickly they're not going to be you know slow and it's not going to be a, a slow process like it has been in times past but in the scripture that actually came to me in the dream and after the afterwards after i woke one up was uh, matthew 5 and i'll read that after i share the dream um but it was really uh oh lordy it was really significant and it was awesome um and it was like in two it was like in two parts but the first part was um i was pregnant with uh i didn't know how i didn't know how many uh, children i thought it was just one um in the first part of the dream i didn't know how many but i knew i was pregnant and i and then the second part is when i found out how many which was the interesting part and amazing and just really um just shows how much you know, God wants to bless us and how extravagantly that he is going to bless us. You know, that it's not going to be just something small because he's not a small God like I mentioned before. You know, he, he when he blesses his children, he does it in an extravagant way. He doesn't do it small. You know, there's nothing nothing that God does is little. And this is huge. So the, the blessings are definitely coming, you know, as a reward for the things that we've been facing in our, in our lives in this season that we've been in of our faith being put to the test. And, um, the things that we've endured for his name's sakes, you know, and for us not giving up and us, you know, keeping on pressing into him and not giving up and just keep fighting a good fight in faith like we have been, you know, in this season that we've been in. Um, but in the second part of the dream, I had the babies and it was four children. It was two boys and two girls. And the, um, the interesting part was, and the, and the amazing part was, it was like they were, they weren't newborn babies though. They were like six and seven months old. So, you know, that was God saying, I'm speeding things up. You know, it's not going to be, you know, a slow trickling like it has been and, and before when I bless you and you'd have to go through certain things and wait and, you know, have it come in time. But he says, I'm speeding up the process. You know, the blessings are coming quicker and faster and more rapidly. So it's not going to be something that's, that's going to be a slow process. It's going to be fast. And that's what he was saying to me in that dream with the children weren't, you know, they weren't newborn babies. They were six and seven months old. <laughs> he know when you have a baby, it's not that old when you first have it. So I knew, I knew God was saying he's speeding things up. He's not, it's not going to be a slow process. Um, but it's, that's the amazing thing. God is just amazing. And the things that he does are so extravagant. You know, when he, when he blesses us, like I said, it's not going to be nothing small. Because he's not a small God. He's a huge God. He's a mega God. So... When he blesses his children, he does it in an extravagant and a big way. Um, but I wanted to read Matthew 5, because that's the, the scripture that came to me. And that's when Jesus was teaching the disciples on the mount. And he was telling them of all the blessings. And I'll start reading from, from verse 3. Where it says, God blesses those who are pure and realize their need of him. For the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses those who mourn for they will be comforted. God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they will be satisfied. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called children of God. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right for the kingdom of heaven is the, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs and god blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because 
you're my followers. Be happy about it and be very glad. Um, let me turn the page. It says, for a great... I hope we get some here. I'm trying to turn the page. For a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way. And that's what he's saying. He's saying that they were persecuted. People were persecuted in the same way that we're persecuted. You know, and they had to, to endure the things that we had to, like, we have to endure, you know, for his name's sake. And he's saying because of that, the blessings are going to be overflowing. They're going to be extravagant. They're going to be huge and they're going to be big. So I'm excited about that. But I just want to share that with everybody and share the, the scripture that, that God gave to me, you know, with the dream that I had. But it was just amazing. It's just amazing. I mean, God's an amazing God. He's an extravagant God. And I know this will bless a lot of people. I know it blesses me, <laughs> praise the Lord, because I know a lot of a lot of you have endured a lot, and you 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 know you've been through the fire, you know, with the the testing of your faith, like I mentioned, you know, with the testing of your faith and the trials and the tribulations, the situations that you face. But now the reward's coming, so it's coming big too. It's not coming small, and it's coming quickly. So it's going to be quick and rapid, and it's going to be awesome. So I just wanted to say to you know share this with everybody as an encouragement, also to you know to encourage you. And to show you that God sees, you know, he, he sees, he takes notice of the things that you do for his name's sake. He takes notice of that. He knows your heart. He knows where your heart is. He knows the things that you've endured. He knows the things that you've been through. And now the blessings are coming. Praise the Lord. But I just wanted to share that with everybody because I was just excited about it. And I wanted to share that with everybody. And I pray that it blesses you as it did me. Um, and I will leave my uh, link to my um, GoFundMe account for those who want to. So we're seeing into my ministry into what God is doing in this time and this season because it is amazing and it's awesome. I'm just excited. And I'll also leave my email in the description box of this video. For those who have prayer requests, feel free to email me anytime because I do check my emails always. So, And I will get back to you on that. But feel free to email me. I'll put my email in the description box and my GoFundMe account. But until next time, y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.